Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to this presentation on secure remote access for packaging machines. Uh, my name is Colin Zauner, and I'm the Controls Applications Manager for KEB America. And I guess today it's never been more important to have the ability to remote access and program your machines uh, and have access to those devices behind the machine network. Uh, so this presentation will overview uh, the C6 router and CombiVis Connect functionality, which allows a VPN connection to the machine network. And lastly, I will demo the configuration of a router uh, VPN connection to the Allen Bradley PLC. So let's get started. So first, uh, going through the CombiVis Connect architecture. Uh, the Connect architecture is, consists of three main components. Uh, first, on the left, you can see the CombiVis Connect Control Center. Uh, this is actually the PC software that you would download from our website. Uh, and that would be used to uh, start and connect to devices in, in, the, in the field, which would be the C6 router. And the VPN connection, uh, I guess, tunnels through the router and you have access to all of the devices uh, behind the router. Uh, the next component is uh, the CombiVis Connect server infrastructure. Uh, our servers are located all around the world, and the uh, servers uh, facilitate the VPN connection by uh, providing, uh, when a user starts a VPN connection, the server will authenticate the user uh, that is attempting to log in and ensure that it has the correct permissions to access the machine network. Uh, after a successful handshake, a VPN connection is set up between the PC and the router, which would allow the user to access the devices in the machine network. Next, I guess not only are the connections to the machine network secure, KEB also ensures that the CombiVis Connect architecture is up to date with the latest security standards. So we do that by uh, auditing our Connect architecture to the latest IEC 62443 industrial security standards. And we have a third party uh, audit this uh, our architecture every release of CombiVis Connect. Additionally, uh, we provide the ability to set up VPN firewalls so you can filter any and all traffic uh, that is passed between the VPN connection. So this could be anything from limiting, uh, the, pro limiting the traffic to a specific protocol or device or even a MAC ID. Uh, to ensure that only the data that you want passed is passed uh, between your, your PC and the machine network. We have access rights management for any of the users and the groups that you set up uh, within the CombiVis Connect software. So this means that you can refine exactly who has access uh, to, to a specific device. This could be anything from a read only of uh, maybe like a HMI screen, or it could be uh, limiting uh, if you can access or transfer files between the router and the PC. Uh, next is we have a connection and activity audit log. So you can actually uh, record uh, any, any connections that have been made and uh, see exactly what the user has done uh, during that, that connection. This is also a, ni a nice way to um, provide uh, some documentation to your customers to, to the display to them 
how much time you spent on a specific programming task or how much time you spent uh, providing your services to them. And lastly, we have online firmware updates. So the router is always up to date with the latest firmware. Next, I'll just go through a few of the C6 router options that we have available. For installations with network access, the router can connect to the internet with an ethernet connection. If a wired network connection is not available, uh, the router can be ordered with a 4G uh, modem integrated into it. So you can see that on the right hand side, uh, there's actually a SIM card slot in the back that you can insert a SIM card. All versions of the router come with uh, one USB port, which can be used for data logging and also configuring the router. We also have a serial port available for uh, any legacy devices that you would need to connect to. And once you set up the VPN connection, you also have access to any devices that are uh, connected to the serial port. And lastly, uh, not shown here, uh, but you could see on my demo, we do have IO available. So you could use this as an additional security feature where you could connect a switch uh, to one of the inputs to have uh, for the local user to, prov to allow or deny uh, remote connections into the device. And lastly, uh, we do have a few different software features that are available for data collection, dashboards, alarm handling, and also uh, pushing data to third-party cloud services. If you're interested in this, I'll be having another demo this Thursday at 11 for, at 1145 Central Time. So feel free to stop in on, on that as well. So next I will demo the software and we can configure a router and set up a connection to a Compact Logix uh, PLC. So uh, the screen you can see here is the login page. And what I will do is uh, log in using a uh, predefined user that I have already created. Uh, Pack Expo, and to keep it simple, I just created a simple password here. Uh, once you're logged in, you can see on the left-hand side of the device tree is where you would see all of your devices. So I have a PLC here um, right now, but uh, after we configure the router, you will see it in this device tree. All the devices can be organized in different folders and each folder can have different groups, users, and firewall policies. And each folder is private from one another. So if you want to give certain rights to a user um, within a specific folder, they will not have access to any, any other folders uh, that are in within this, this domain account. Next, on the Devices tab, you could see a quick view of all the devices that you have um, inside your domain. So you can have a quick view of everything uh, that's there. And uh, the audit log, which is the next tab, which I dis discussed before, uh, this actually provides the log um, of all the activities that have been, um, I guess, recorded either on the router or within the domain. And lastly is the router tab. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have a few different modes depending on, uh, I guess, how you want to configure the router. You can either connect locally or you can create a predefined file and insert that into the router and it will configure itself. Uh, for this demo, we will do the local area connection. Uh, so 
I will have to type in a username and a password I have already created. And when you select Discover, you will see the MAC ID of the router. Lastly, uh, we will, I guess, set up three main steps. We have obviously quite a few uh, configuration options if you want to set up any advanced uh, routing uh, for your network for routing traffic or you want to set up uh, internet sharing um, and so on. So the first step is I will create a name so that we can uh, register it to our domain and I will select a folder. The next step is the WAN address, which I have already configured for time's sake. And lastly, the LAN port. So the LAN port, uh, this would, uh, I guess, define the IP address of the LAN interface, which is connected to the machine network. And lastly, I will apply this, the settings, and the router will reboot. And when we go back to our domain, we will see that the router is now available online. So to start up the connection, we select connect. And once the connection is, uh, has been established, then we can access the PLC. So now we're connected and I will go online. And you can now see uh, we are online with the PLC. It's in run mode. And if we open up uh, the program here, we can see uh, live data uh, updating in your program. Okay, well, that is it for the presentation. Uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Thank you. Thank you.